Mod of the month. Ta-da-dum. Just going across this really fancy bridge now. Just have a look outside. I can't drive in the outside view, so I can't be out for long. Here we go, look, going over the river. Surprisingly, I've got more frames per second FPS outside the truck than what I have inside the truck, even though the camera keeps spazzing out every time I pass a lamp post. Ah, uh, 90k. Oh no, we're only going 60, that's okay. So I will list uh, this mod and all the other mods in that I'm running, well, that I'm using with this in the description so that you guys can use them as well. Um, I've got Pro Mod running, obviously, and I've also got um, a trailer pack, which is why they're like UPS and DHL and stuff. So we're going to have to put the, the retarder on coming into these toll booth. Really, there's only three settings of retarder? That's a bit weird. Can we turn into this lane? I don't like being in the outside lane, it's a bit horrible. Right, we're going to the second one. I usually go in the outside one because I like beating the AI. Ah, that's a problem. Will the game keep the gate open long enough for me to charge through? Ah, that's a bit worrying. I hope it will. Because that's usually trailers that it spazzes out on, hopefully not trucks. Yeah, because the trailer's original, like normal trailer kind of thing. Alright, coming in at 5 FPS. And... Got a few too many. Can we get it to pop up, pop up, pop up? No. I don't know how much more room I can go. There we go. Enter. 189 euro toll. I'm watching that barrier so closely. Ah. Good, it didn't go down. Oof. Okay, that's that's a relief. So I think just this journey might be two episodes and then we'll have the other episode where we'll be hopefully at the Scania Test Centre by then. So yeah, because I don't really want to do like a 50 minute video and just one and upload just one because this is for, um, well we're only going to do, we've decided because otherwise there's a lot of editing and everything involved to do four lots of mods and then another and then mod of the month so we've decided to do three weeks of three mods so one mod a week and then on the fourth week of the month it'll be obviously mod of the month which I'm doing and um, I'll be doing another a couple of videos and stuff on pro mod and stuff because there's some little easter eggs and that that I want to show you guys which, um, one of them I've already recorded today, it's not really an easter egg, but it was quite weird. Because there's one, it's um, here, at, um, I'll just, oh, it was an Ikea there, I'll just come back to uh, Cooper, Cooper Keb, Kebenhaven. When you come off of this motorway, you'll notice that I've been here, this place is horrible. There, I don't know what happened to the guys at done Pro Mod, but something didn't go right here. Um, when you come in here, if you want to go to Euro Goodies, the sat nav will tell you to go that way, down the bottom, round the the left side. But you don't. You have to go round the long way because all of this is all glitched here, and there's like a world hole, and all of this is grass and road and. Here there's like trucks come flying out of the building and then disappear through a wall and then so you get hit by them and what else happened? I hit something 
but there was nothing there and it turns out that when you move your camera a certain angle a lamp post appears in front of you but it's not there when you're normally looking straight in the cab so if you ever have a load there be quick but careful because you don't want to be in there too long the game just it doesn't like it but um yeah so I haven't covered much in this because this is my I cheated this for everything so I I've got more um levels and stuff on what the hell happened here that just ended why did that just end oh yeah I remember I screwed up in the Volvo here I I think I managed to roll it somehow but I don't know how and then I got called to here I wonder why that just randomly ended so that's why because I went to Berlin and then found the man dealer which is quite cool because I got the truck and I had a quick drive in it so we've got quite a way to go up to here where uh, the Saab factory is. Oh, we could have a look around the Saab factory. And a big air here. And then there's the Scania test track here. So we need to go to Sod. Sod. Uh, Sodatalje. And we have a look at the Scania factory and the Scania test track, which is this bit here. So that's going to be quite fun. So yeah, um, let's carry on with driving. I might actually end up cutting this because I'm sure you guys don't want to be stuck here for like five hours on end just watching me do this. We'll have a look from the top, look. You idiot. Big truck coming through. I think I'm in the middle of the road, but I can't tell. Ah! Okay, I don't like doing that. That's a bit scary. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Um, if anybody can drive in that view, then please let me know. Oh yeah, this is quite a cool view. This is like... The, um... Oh god, I didn't see that corner. Oh god. So this is the uh, the inside view. Oh my god! I didn't notice that before. <laughs> um, I think the game's a bit confused with the steering wheel. Hmm. <laughs> and the inside doesn't light up. Oh, that's a shame. So yeah, this is this is the that is usually the hanging out view, but the mod installs this instead, so that you can sit in the passenger seat and look kind of behind you, which is annoying actually, because I don't like looking at it, because the passenger is a lot higher than you are for some reason. I don't know why. So we've got 380 kilometers to go. That's quite a way. In Neil Kenworth, Kenwood, Woof! It is Ken Woof! Woof, Woof. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm gonna do a couple. Next, next mod of the month, I don't have a clue what it is. It depends what Alex decides to bring out, or it depends what I can find on the website that I think is gonna be quite cool for you guys to watch, and I hope you, and that what you might enjoy. Um,. I am getting rid of my wheel soon and buying a Logitech hopefully and I'm making a mod, um, a mod, a rig like Alex's but mine's going to be a billion times better and then I might, I'll do a video because that will be, the rig video might be coming out at around April time because that's when I'm hoping to make it so uh, before April there will be a a rig before and a rig after video 
and there might be a like step by step guide maybe maybe on how to make a rig for yourself um, which I found was quite cheap actually so far I've I've totaled it up oh well, I'm doing like maximum speed limit on this road but I've worked out that it's going to cost me around um, about 30 to 40 pounds to make my rig and that's for all the wood and screws and glue and paint and stuff and and the seat as well because obviously you've got, you've got you've got to have a seat and then that'll be 80 quid for the wheel but I might try it with Alex's wheel ask him if I can borrow his briefly just to try it and see if it fits so yeah um, it's quite interesting actually I'll, you, you're quite lucky that I found this because I was going to do a tandem truck and honest it looked atrocious it was Alex tried it out because he, he was going to do it for a week mod in the week and um, it was it only had something like eight gears and it was a Mercedes Arctros um, tandem and it, it looked quite a cool mod and everything but all of the um, AI completely spazzed out because they were trying to pull tandem trucks and they couldn't work out how so like all the trucks and trailers were inside each other and um, it only had like eight gears on it and it was the sounds were just completely off so that and then I saw this and this became mod of the month so which I'm quite happy about because it is a good it's a good mod and the guys have worked hard on on this and so have the guys on pro mod actually as well they've worked very hard so I will leave the link to pro mod and that in the description Oh, I got put in. Uh, there you go, Stockholm's now on the signs, so we've done 20k in the past five minutes or so. And we're not exactly going slow either, so I'm gonna get there in time. I will um, also leave mine and Alex's uh, World of Trucks um, links in the description as well because we just thought about doing that because I actually released a hint of what the, the mod of the month was going to be uh, last week and um, obviously it no, not many people know where we are on the website, so and uh, this week we might have some G mod maybe being recorded, and um, I'm going to look at uh, an aircraft game which looks quite cool. So yeah. So, um, just to emphasize this mod, I'm going to do some dramatic camera. So, uh, I hope you guys will enjoy that and I'll be back soon.
So, um, camera camera shots aren't a good thing to do. I've learned. Um, the AI kind of screws you over quite well, as you can see there. Um, they just stop, and uh, you you can't see because you're focusing on cameras, and um, that happens. And you also saw a bit further back that I clouted the side of the um, of the, the truck, so I didn't do very well there. But uh, the lads look cool anyway, so can't complain. I have to admit that wing looks quite cool now. Single lane! I hate single lane. So uh, that was like a second, like a minute of dramatic, and everything just went bang. So um, I don't think I'll do that anymore. <laughs> I like, I like this one, this one's quite cool. So, um, there's not really much more to cover in this mod, really. You know, there's driving, there's sound. It's it is a good mod, and I will recommend looking at both this and the Peter Bill, as I've been assured that they both run together um, at the same time. Hence, why the Peter Bill was at a DAF dealer, and this is at a man so that you can run them both because they both replace the most basic truck so yeah um, if I could find like a really big load like the train or the tank or something then I might be tempted to do that as another video so you know you might you might see some more of this truck yet and um, I might do another mod review or another look at another truck mod uh, which is a Scania which I found and it's quite nice it's modelled well I think so yeah um, I might skip the rest of this journey for you guys and as you can see the, the fuel's barely gone down at all you know it's still yellow so it can't drink that much so, looks like the extra length does uh, something correctly, hey? Look at them, all of them extra fuel tanks. 102k, not very easy to... Con what the hell was that? Okay, ETS 2 has just turned into a horror game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to know what that noise was. I'm still flooring it. I haven't, I haven't taken my foot off the throttle at all yet. And look at that. That's so simple to go up. Right, so I am, I am going to skip the rest of this journey because for you guys this must be so boring, just watching me drive this truck. Because I, I really don't know what to say. You know, I've gone through everything. You know, 
Oh, the installation. I haven't gone through installation. I'll I'll do that. Yeah. So, to install this mod, when you when you download it from the link in the description, um, you have to. It will give you a zip folder, and you have to unpack that zip folder. Um, no, it won't. Sorry, it will give you a RAR folder. So, if you have WinRAR or you have 7-Zip. I have 7 zip because that come with my computer. So if you have that you unpack it into your mods folder and you will have uh the truck and a truck sound and you have to place both of them in your mods folder and then go into the game and turn them both on. Um the Scania sound mod which Alex I think has left in one of his videos. Um He's got won't work with this game uh, with this mod. Sorry, it uh, makes all the AI wheels disappear. As um, it's on my World of Trucks page, so you'll see that. So I'm just checking that my phone's still recording. Um, So yeah, uh, Pro Mod works. I haven't tried the Winter Mod, but I don't think the Winter Mod will work. Um, we tried it with the Volvo VN, VNL 770 thing, and uh, the physics just didn't work on it at all. It was just the same physics. Uh, the trailer slid, but the truck didn't, so it was a bit annoying, a bit disappointing. So I haven't tried this with the Winter Mod, but you can. Um, physics mod, I wouldn't do it because this truck's, well, I believe, it's already. It it doesn't feel like it needs physics because it feels like it's already got them, and it works. You know, the the screen on my laptop screen's a bit small to read, but you might be able to read it with um, a, a bigger monitor or something if you've got one. I'm gonna have to try and get this guy to barge barge him out of the way. Oh, what he hit me! That's bollocks, that is. That's just a load of bollocks. He hit me. And you guys saw that. He hit me. I'm, I'm just getting to the stage where I just want to rage quit, rage quit already. So we'll just come in. Just coming on to the next motorway. John, John Coping over here. Um, me and Alex met up here yesterday on my other profile. Oh no, it was um, Ed Kevin Harden. He was here yesterday. And uh, yesterday I mean Saturday, because I'm recording it a week ahead. Yeah, that's all the installation. Um, it might lag on your PCs a bit. I've got I've got a quad core in my laptop, and it's it's lagging quite a bit. You know, I've got 12 gigs of RAM, terabyte memory, and it's it's lagging quite a bit. And I, I've got an AMD graphics card, so that might be the problem. But I've I've clocked up the processor and everything, and it's still it's running a bit smoother, but not much. Because it's so long, the game has to render more, and it struggles with that. Because it has to, yes, it's trying to work out why the trailer's behind the truck so far. So it ha it lags because it's working out and processing everything, and it's just annoying. But 
aside from that, it runs fine when I haven't got the um, my recording software running. Actually, we haven't had any rain. I wonder what the window wipers are like in the rain. The other thing I don't, um, one thing I don't like about this is that the the screen that you can see above the rev limiter, revometer thing, you can't read it. It's so small you can't read it. Which for me is quite annoying because I like reading it and everything like that, and it's it's a bit a bit irritating. Which you can't help because the you know you, you've got to lose some things to gain something like this. And it is quite a cool mod, you know, with everything in the back and everything, so oh, I'm going to hit that. So i will just spin around a minute. Cool. So you can drive from the back here, but I always crash because I can't see the lines or anything because I I drive a lot off of straight. You know, I'm, I'm always trying to keep in my lines. Uh, fuel, do we need line fuel? No, we don't need fuel. let it cruise a bit kill some speed so we got uh oh wow we've killed quite a lot we've um we've only got 93 kilometers left so uh traveling at 100k works quite well <laughs> So yeah, that's quite good. I didn't realise that we'd lost that much. I close my iPad down because that's just running randomly. So we're going to uh, overtake this truck at uh, almost 100k in 16th gear. And see what happens. I'm going to do this cam, so death cam. Oh god, he's there, he's actually gone past me. because I can't see. He's still in front of me. What speed is he doing? He's got to be doing the same speed as me, surely. Oh, well, now I'm going to go faster than him. Oh, he's in the new Volvo. Look at that. Look at the FH. It's quite a nice truck, I have to admit. Down here, we should gain some more speed, but maybe we're not going to. Oh no, it gains a bit. 98, 99, 100, so 60 mile an hour roughly. 62 actually. Oh no, we've gone down to 99 because we've changed gradient, we're going up. So uh, it looks like that this truck actually needs them 18 gears because of the ratios in the gearbox so uh, 45k not far now 42 minutes it reckons so we'll get there at uh, quarter past six roughly yeah we will get there at quarter past six so that's not too bad what the heck is that on the right oh it's planes oh that's cool oh that's cool there's there's a um, something like that on the I don't know I can't remember where it is. It's like in France or German. It's in France or Germany, and um, there's like a TGV train, like the really big or the orange high speed trains. And I saw it one day when I was driving. It was just like randomly on a on a hill, and I had to show Alex because I was talking to him. I was like, what the hell is this doing here? 
and he didn't have a clue either, and it was really weird. Seventy, really? Oh, sixty's fine. Turn that off now. Do we have to turn on here, or is it? No, it's all in the, all in the land. Change up. So actually we're just round the corner and then um, we'll see how well this thing can reverse because I've already learned that the turning circle is not very large on this so you'll have to give me a couple of tries to get this in possibly because of the turning circle of the truck because I haven't actually reversed with this before. I can reverse with all the others but I just can't reverse with this. My boss, excuse me, my bottom is hurting from recording for so long. I have been recording for almost an hour now. It seems like. I think it's only about 30 to 45 minutes I've actually been recording for. So it's quite horrible, it's quite long. Uh, where am I going? Oh, it's a roundabout. Damn it, I need to be in the outside lane. Go. Why are we going to do the five? Oh, because there's so much AI. Brilliant. Oh god, what are you doing? Go. Just AI. Yeah, right. I have to span across two lanes to get this round this corner, round this roundabout. Look, sub to the sub garage and industrial ord, which I'm guessing is industrial estate. Right, so we've got it around that corner. Oh no, we're going back in this lane again. No, you don't. You don't go past me if there's one there. I know he's going round the roundabout. Linkor being discovered. I hope it's not one of them tiny yards. No, you have to go on. Um, you enter the front, then you have to go round the back of a building to get to the trailers. I hate going to them, and this won't even fit in there. I've al I've already looked. The truck and everything just won't fit in. Come on, go, 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 go. I'm actually travelling faster than the AI, so the AI is lagging more than what I am. Oh my god, what is that store? That's huge. Is that where I'm going? Oh right, yeah, I'm going in the back of here. Oh, that's cool. That's like, I guess, the, um, the Swede, not the Swedish, um, am I in Sweden? I think I'm in Sweden, yeah. The Swedish version of IKEA. Self-plane. Or plan. Ah. Oh. This is a really midget yard. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, I want a speed bump. I have to watch the speed bumps. They're really harsh. Watch, watch this. Look, the, the truck will just bounce. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, that's okay. Oh god, trailer. Oh. <gasps> oh, that was close. Well, at least there's no other trailer in here. I've got quite a lot of reversing space, so. Can we get that in there? Okay, 
and get ready for the beeping. Oh, I might get this in first time. I might get this in first time. Oh. Oh yeah, we're gonna get it in first time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go green, go green, go green. That's perfect reverse. Come on, you gotta give me that. Oh, that's mean. I wanna have it on my side, I don't wanna have an upside reverse because I can't see when I have offside. That's got to be in, you're kidding. What? And you're saying that's not in? Well, this AI really doesn't like me, does it? Ah! It's crashed, it's crashed. What? Oh! No wonder it's going so slow. Ha! <laughs> no wonder the frames per second was going so slow. I wasn't running on my battery. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. GG. Literally. Come on, that's in. Oh my god. It's so difficult. Because it's such a large truck. That's in. That's in. There we go. And we done it. Good work. How much damage did I do then? Oh, two. Well, I still got 14 grand. That's not too bad. So there you go. That is um, the delivery side of the Kenworth W900B Long ARI Legacy Sleepers. So. Oh, sorry, I'm just having a stretch. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you next time for part two.